This video is about finding parallel and perpendicular lines. Suppose we have a line of slope 3 fourths. In other words, the rise over the run is 3 over 4. Then any other line that's parallel to this line will have the same slope, the same rise over run. So that's our first fact to keep in mind. Parallel lines have the same slopes. Suppose on the other hand we want to find a line perpendicular to our original line with its original slope of 3 fourths. A perpendicular line, in other words a line at a 90 degree angle to our original line, will have a slope that's the negative reciprocal, the opposite reciprocal of our original slope. So we take the reciprocal of 3 fourths, that's 4 thirds, and we make it its opposite by changing it from positive to negative. So I'll write this as a principle that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. To get the hang of what it means to be an opposite reciprocal, let's look at a few examples. So here's the original slope and this will be the opposite reciprocal which would represent the slope of our perpendicular line. So for example, if m1 was 2, then the opposite reciprocal, reciprocal of 2 is 1 half, opposite means I change the sign. If the first slope turned out to be, say, negative 1 third, the reciprocal of 1 third is 3 over 1, or just 3, and the opposite means I change it from a negative to a positive. So my perpendicular slope would be would be 3. One more example, if I started off with the slope of say 7 halves, then the reciprocal of that would be 2 sevenths and I change it to an opposite reciprocal by changing the positive to a negative. Let's use these two principles in some examples. In our first example, we need to find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line and goes through the point negative 3, 2. Well, in order to get started, I need to figure out the slope of this line. So let me put this line into a more standard form, the, the slope-intercept form. So I'll start with 3y minus 4x plus 6 equals 0. I'm going to solve for y to put it in this, this more standard form. So I'll say 3y equals 4x minus 6, and then divide by 3 to get y equals 4 thirds x minus 6 thirds. Let's divide all my terms by 3. I can simplify that a little bit. y equals 4 thirds x minus 2. Now I can read off the slope of my original line, and 1 is 4 thirds. That means my slope of my new line, my parallel line, will also be 4 thirds. So my new line will have the equation y equals 4 thirds x plus b for some b. Of course, b will probably not be negative 2 like it was for the first line. It'll be something else determined by the fact that it goes through this point negative 3, 2. To figure out what b is, I'll plug in the point negative 3, 2 for negative 3 for x and 2 for y. So that gives me 2 equals 4 thirds times negative 3 plus b, and I'll solve for b. So Let's see, first let me just simplify. So 2 equals, uh, this is negative 12 thirds plus b, or in other words, 2 is negative 4 plus b, so that means that b is going to be 6. And my, my parallel line will have the equation y equals 4 thirds x plus 6. Next, let's find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to a given line through and go through a given point. Again, in order to get started, I need to find what the slope of this given line is. So I'll rewrite it. Well, first I'll just copy it over. 6x plus 3y equals 4. And then I can put it in the standard uh, slope-intercept form by solving for y. So 3y is negative 6x plus 4. Divide everything by 3, I get y equals negative 6 thirds x plus 4 thirds. So y is negative 2x plus 4 thirds. So on my original slope of my original line is negative 2, which means my perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal. So I take the reciprocal of 
of negative 2, that's negative 1 half, and I change the sign, so that gives me 1 half as the slope of my perpendicular line. Now, my new line, I know it's going to be y equals 1 half x plus b for some b, and I can plug in my point on my new line, uh, so 1 for y and 4 for x, and solve for b. So I get 1 equals 2 plus b, so b is negative 1. And so my new line has equation 1 half x minus 1. These next two examples are a little bit different because now we're looking at a line parallel to a completely horizontal line. Let me draw this line y equals 3. So the y coordinate is always 3, which means that my line will be a horizontal line through at height, at height y equals 3. If I want something parallel to this line, it will also be a horizontal line. Since it goes through the point negative 2, 1, let's see, negative 2, 1, it has to go through that point there, it's going to have always have a y-coordinate of 1, the same as the y-coordinate of the point it goes through. So my answer will just be y equals 1. In the next example, we want a line that's perpendicular to the line y equals 4, another horizontal line y equals 4. But perpendicular means I'm going to need a vertical line. So I need a vertical line that goes through the point 3, 4, okay, and so I'm going to draw a vertical line there. Now vertical lines have the form x equals something for their equation, and to find what x equals, I just need to look at the x-coordinate of the point I'm going through, this point 3, 4. So that x-coordinate is 3, and all the points on this, this perpendicular and vertical line have x coordinate 3, so my answer is x equals 3. In this video, we use the fact that parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes to find the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines.